just let me get this damn video started off right. Fuck you, Auburn. Hey, Super Hot Beats. Hey, Jim Johnson. I need y'all to drop me some of that country-ass shit. I need something that'll make Cheryl Crow go. God damn, that shit's raw right there. Yeah. That's right. See how easy that is? But only two of them. Real king. Real king. You know the sun shines real bright in the morning time through the window with my trailer in the pines. I need a little something to shade that light. A beer bus starts my day off right. Granny's in the kitchen cooking and singing. Zoo hit me up. Look at what he brings in. Hey, ain't that a 12-pack buddy? Yes, sir. You know I ride dirty. I ain't even got a shower yet, but I devour a 12 ounce in 3 seconds. And it's an Alfie's wedding. I married the bud and now I'm in heaven. Cheryl Crow is the queen. I really wish I had her here to drink with me. But it's just me and Dixie, and I'm one down. Transcend hit me. My box are shagging and my ass is showing. Walking through the yard to get my mail. I'm feeling good if I say so myself. Wait till the neighbor sitting on his porch. He hates my guts. Yeah, of course. His daughter hangs out with us on the weekend. But I throw the peace sign. Cheers, my friend. I ain't got no problems near. I drink beer. My head is clear. My eyes are foggy. I don't feel groggy. Well, I drink more by 12. Here we are with Fixer Win, our 14th national championship, baby. For all the haters, all the haters, all you Oklahoma Cowboys out there, Oklahoma State, y'all can kiss our country ass, boys. In the pumpkin patch. Down here in the damned old pumpkin patch. <laughs> Woo! One time. One time. Woo! One time. Up. In this bitch, bitch, baby. Yeah. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Nick Saban still coaching. He's still orchestrating his team, trying to get the right people on the stage. Nick, if you could please come up. We'll talk to you in a moment, but first of all, Bill Hancock, who is the commissioner of the BC. Let's go get a pace. Let's go get a touchdown. Up down. Let's go get a touchdown. 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 Let's go get a is baby so loud tide one time coming to you live from down here baby where hell is frozen over baby down here in south tennessee Woo, a little cold down here got frost on the ground but what do you expect down here in this pumpkin patch this damned old pumpkin patch but frost they just all just whoo they're just a bunch of damn frosty the snowman's down here but anyway i want to get on here and uh you know, uh, remind everybody we got the A game coming up this weekend. If you didn't know, if you're an Alabama fan and didn't know, just turn your damn crimson and white stuff in and uh, go get you some other gear. Uh, maybe go get you some War Eagle gear and, or some old Georgia Bull Goat gear or uh, some old Tennessee Volunteer gear. Get you some of that. And, uh, and we'll holler at you another day. But, um, for all the real fans, real fans show up for practice, and that's what Alabama fans do. We've been showing up for practice since uh, 2007, since Nick Saban stepped foot on that campus. Uh, I think uh, Alabama's changed the spring game, as you know, as we, as everybody used to know, you know, just being a, a practice game to being a, a, a really good event. I mean, just a just a fun time down in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Um, but um, 
man, it seems like every year it gets bigger and bigger uh, since Coach Saban's got there. Uh, I can remember back in the day when, uh, you know, the biggest crowd that was at a spring game at Alabama was uh, probably about 40,000. And now we're, we're doubling that. And uh, since we expanded the stadium, I'm sure we'll have over 100,000 fans there. Uh, you know, I usually book my room uh, beginning of the year. Uh, could not get a room, so I'm off staying, staying down there somewhere. Hell, I'll find it. But um, it ought to be a good time. I can't wait to get down there and see some old friends. Hope to see some, see some good friends I seen uh, last year. And uh, maybe we can get together and drink us a damned old cold beer and talk about the upcoming season. Excited to see this team, this young Alabama team. Everybody talks about, are you going to rebuild? Alabama, you're rebuilding. No, we're not rebuilding. We're reloading, people. Uh, we've had the top classes in the country for the last three or four years, and I know that talent's been sitting on the on the sidelines with bated breath, ready to get out there and show everybody in the country what they can do, and uh, especially show everybody in that stadium what they can do on a game. It's a it's a way to uh, get you, to to get noticed if you're a young player, uh, especially if you're just looking to get your shot. It's a way to get noticed, and a big way is to show out in the a game. And uh, I'm looking to see what our young linebacker core is going to do, led by Nico Johnson and, uh, and uh, C.J. Mosley. I'm looking to see what they're going to do. I'm looking to see what our secondary is going to do with the loss of uh, Kirk Patrick and Menzi and Mark Barron back there. I know, uh, I know Deion Blue, this uh, junior college kid come out, got blazing speed, runs a 4-3, sub 4-3-40. And, uh, and uh, you know, we got some more kids coming. Coming up through the ranks, you know, uh, they've been hearing a lot about Justin Fowler. They call him Nudie. I'm, I don't know why, but, uh, you know, it ought to be very serious to get down there and watch him run the ball. And I'm anxious to see how D-Hart looks because uh, I saw him last spring, and uh, he was a bullet. And uh, I'm just anxious to see how his progress has come, coming off the ACL injury and see if he's lost any speed or not. And, uh, you know, see how this offense is going to work around uh, A.J., McCarron, a seasoned quarterback. People want to talk about how good their quarterbacks are. I've heard Tennessee fans get up here and talk about how good Tyler Bray is. I've heard I've heard UGA fans get up here and talk about how good uh, the Murray kid is. But when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, A.J. McCarron is the best quarterback in the SEC. Because you can look at his pedigree, people. Does any of them quarterbacks have a national championship? I hate to say it, but no. Has any of them is any of them kids won a bigger game than AJ McCarron? I don't think so. Uh, so uh, even Tyler Wilson, I think Tyler Wilson's a great quarterback, but he's not won a big game. And uh, you know, you know, I know uh, the Arkansas fans are a little down right now, but uh, you know that's what you get. Karma's a son of a bitch, ain't it? You know, you hire trash, you get trash. So. Uh, you know, good luck to whoever y'all find. Maybe y'all can go get old Houston Nutt. I hear him look. I hear he's looking for a damned old job. But um, just excited about the A game coming up. Uh, you know, uh, just give a shout out to everybody out there in Alabama Nation. Hope to see y'all down there. Y'all look for me. Y'all roll tight in the streets when you see me one time, baby. And uh, with that being said, there's only one thing for me to say from down here. And that's roll tide roll. One time. Up in this bitch, baby. Woo! Peace, everybody. One love. Roll tie, baby.